FTR, three letters that are more legend than reality. Three Nissan letters that have been more virtual than anything else. A big hit in the video game circles that has now come to life. Patience was needed, but the Nissan GTR is now in the dealer shops in France. We've taken advantage to try out the entirely all-new platform. So, is the GTR good looking? Good looking isn't exactly the right term. Nissan does know how to build a road rocket with plenty of racy and sculpted traits. This car is a wash in effectiveness. The front end has to both take in the air to the extractors and radiator while helping out the aerodynamics. You can see how much the spoiler is called upon, while the back end does the same with the extractor and wing. The GTR generates downforce, and as a reminder of Nissan's heritage, the two light units are round while the double muffler pipes are as evoking as you like. Under the GTR's engine cover is an aluminum direct-injected twin-turbo 3.8-liter V6 block with four valves per cylinder, producing 465 brace horsepower and 588 newton meters of torque between 3200 and 5200 RPM, which puts it in the same company as a Porsche Turbo. The gearbox sits over the rear axle for better weight distribution. The GTR is all-wheel drive and comes with such things as ABS and ESP. While the finish quality of the GTR is correct, it is just a tad sober. However, sitting atop the central console is a tactile screen developed by Polyphony, who is best known for developing Gran Turismo. Having mechanical or data concerning your driving at just a glance or touch away is quite nice. All of this info adds to wanting to get out onto the road. The roar invading the interior is what it's all about as soon as you step on the accelerator, you're transported into another dimension. The GTR is a monster that demands respect. Acceleration is needless to say lively, and the double clutch gearbox with its wheel paddle shifts is a model of efficiency. Despite its large size, the GTR is precise down to the last millimeter. The GTR doesn't do well on torn up roads, but is right at home when the asphalt is billiard table smooth. The brakes are beyond reproach. The GTR is a handful, but quite a lot of fun. And to see just how much fun the GTR is, we went to the local circuit and were joined by driving instructor Ludovic. We put both the suspension and ESP in R mode, R for racing. You soon forget about the GTR's 1900 kilograms. Little angle is needed in the steering and the front end goes where you point it with a minimum of chassis roll and no understeer. The four ventilated disc brakes are found behind these superb 20 inch wheels that always hold up their end of the bargain. We would have liked to have had a go with the ESP disconnected but the honor is only reserved for Nissan test driver Dirk Scheussmann. In R mode, you can slide and get as much as 8 degrees of angle. With this much power and suspension control, the Nissan GTR drives more like a rear-wheel drive than an all-wheel drive car. With a nearly unbeatable performance to price ratio of 85,000 euros, if you've never bought a lottery ticket before, you may want to start now.